New details now leading up to Pope Francis' historic visit to America. Today we learned some important details about speeches the pontiff is expected to make while here. We also learned a local archbishop will be traveling with Pope Francis on parts of his trip. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us with those details. Shannon, today we learned Boston's Archbishop Cardinal Sean O'Malley will be accompanying Pope Francis on parts of his trips to Cuba and the U.S. Right now, Cardinal O'Malley is in Rome for meetings. Today we also learned O'Malley will be going to the White House with the Pope and other cardinals for a ceremonial event with President Obama. Saturday, the Pope leaves Rome for Havana and will remain there until Tuesday when he departs for the U.S. The Spanish-speaking island nation will see its third papal visit since it went atheist in 1992. Pope John Paul II visited in 1998 and Pope Benedict visited in 2012. Cardinal O'Malley will fit in nicely since he speaks Spanish fluently. The Fall River Diocese, where Cardinal O'Malley used to work, released the following statement to Eyewitness News saying, quote, Cardinal O'Malley is certainly a close advisor to Pope Francis and is very familiar with Cuba and the church there, so I am not surprised he will be accompanying Pope Francis. Now, the Vatican also said Pope Francis plans to deliver four out of his 18 speeches in the U.S. in English. The rest will be delivered in his native Spanish, which is what he is more comfortable speaking. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News. And stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage leading up to Pope Francis' historic visit. Coming up new at 6, we revisit with the family who was touched by Pope Francis in an encounter seen around the world. Plus, Mike Montecalvo and Danielle North will be in Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. with the Pope when his U.S. trip begins next Tuesday.